G'day viewers and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Blokes World. This week we find ourselves back in Sydney at Triple Lou's Garage for an open day. Plus we're going to catch up with a whole bunch of mates. Plus we've got all our regular segments. Cambo, Sydney. We never film in Sydney. What do you reckon? Nah, it's great. It's good to come up here for a change. Eh? I'm just hanging to get on that jumping castle and have a sausage. Yeah, awesome. In that order? Both together, I think, eh? Awesome. Anyway, right now let's kick off the show. Welcome to Blokes World. Welcome back to Bloke of the Week. And he's been on the show before, but we can't not have him on the show. Stephen Gore, welcome back to Bloke's World. Yeah, thank you very much. Always good to be here. Oh, mate, we're so stoked that you're here. And we're standing in here in front of your, I guess this is your Troy Bayless race machine that you race. Yeah, yeah. Troy, a few years ago, got the Troy Bayless Classic going. And he asked some of us old buggers to get involved again. So I thought, well, it's good for the sport and a bit of fun at the same time. So why not? No, definitely. And last time we caught up was at the Troy Bowers Classic. Yeah. And we were talking about how you just came back from uh, Namibia and you've been filming Mad Max. Yep. And here we are now a couple of years down the track. Seen the movie. I loved it. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. How was it for you? Oh, the movie was really surreal. The whole experience of every aspect of the movie has been something very very special in my life from being you know in the pre-production being over there in an interview and it, it, seeing how they go through the production process of a big multi-million dollar movie then back home you know the pickup shots the release in sydney where we got to ride the the mad max bikes at carl freeway you know where they closed the highway and everything yeah. you know it was something special so yeah a lot of fun we just saw Stephen Gall do his talk in there yeah, before, yeah, talking about his, his experiences yeah. on Mad Max. Yeah. I, I never paid attention that much at school. That was a great speech you did, and I thought it was really good how he explained to everyone, because you were riding in Namibia and you are in Africa in the desert, you decided to go WA to get all your riders, because they are excellent sand riders. Yeah, yeah. well, it was a... It was the criteria of the movie that a lot of it was going to be in the sand and I knew a lot of the motocross guys from around Australia and it just made sense to use guys who were specialists in sand because it certainly is something you've got to grow up with yeah. and you've got to spend a lot of time in sand and I was lucky I came from the Sutherland Shire and the Kernhill Sandhills when they were Sandhills before now they built half of Sydney, yeah. uh, well they were sand and I used to ride there all the time so it, it certainly is a technique you've got to spend time in it to learn how to do it well. Riding on my dirt bike, going too fast and coming running the curb like And I noticed you've got a few new added things on the motorcycle that we, you know, that went there a couple of years ago. I thought we'd talk about them. First up here, here is the Clake. Yeah. A great yeah. invention, eh, by a mate of Cambo's. Yeah, yeah. Owen's done a great job with that. And the Clake system is where you've got the clutch and the brake all on the left-hand side of the handlebar. And in my case, I deleted the rear brake down there because I didn't use it. And for me, where I can use, and I mountain bike a lot, so I'm used to using the dexterity of my fingers mountain biking to use the brake over on the left-hand side and to be able to have the foot pegs available to weight the bike for different scenarios is much more of an advantage to me the way I ride than it was to have the rear brake down there. Mm -hmm. And there's so many situations when you're teaching motorcycling where it's really a compromise to have the rear brake down on the right-hand side of the foot pegs. Mm -hmm. It's good for general riding, but when you're trying to do special things, yep. it's not that good. So this system's excellent and it really is smart to be able to run the fingers on the clutch when you want to and then have the dexterity to go to the rear brake as well as the clutch at the same time. So very special. Yeah, awesome. And the other thing I think is fantastic are these new pivot pegs. Yeah, the pivot pegs are something that actually I worked with Alan Smith from in Tasmania who designed those years and years ago and they've gone to extra sort of design these days. But um, my pivot peg over on this side, before, because I wear a steel shoe for dirt track, so my foot slides over the ground, we've rubber coated it so it doesn't really slip off that easily. But the other side, uh, the teeth are very, very sharp. The, the foot peg moves back and forth to a certain amount. So when you're getting forward on the bike and you're waiting with your right hand foot peg, the peg moves with you nice. and it works really good for dirt track. 
It's great for trail riding yep. because you can work around the bike, you can move much more comfortably, particularly when you're standing and doing most of your riding in the standing position. Awesome. And you're obviously still um, selling the uh, very popular CTI knee braces? Yeah, the CTI knee braces have been happening for me ever since uh, 88. I've been doing it ever since then. I'm really a specialist when it comes to knee bracing in Australia. And it all came from my own injuries. I done my... I did my ACLs. Because of that, I went looking in America and found the CTI brand. It's a custom-made carbon fibre brace. It's basically the Rolls-Royce of knee bracing. Expensive, but custom-made, and it is the best. People people tend to be more um, reactive after they hurt themselves, yes. unfortunately, and not not preventative with medicine. Well, that, that's why I thought it was fantastic this morning when I met the uh, pool, uh, professional bull rider guy. Yeah. He's still got great knees, but he, he's a bit worried that his knees might go with the bull riding. Yeah. So he came in and got fitted out by you. Yeah, yeah. Well, Lincoln Brown is an exceptional bull clown where he keeps the bulls away from the, the bull riders when they get thrown off and he gets in there, gets in their face and, and, uh, and you know, he gets pummeled around by the bulls a lot. So he wanted to look after his knees and, you know, knees are very special to you. For the people who haven't hurt their knees, they don't really know what it's like when you damage your knees and how much of a, a legacy it can leave to you, lead to your life later on. Mm. So good on Lincoln for thinking that way. Yeah, awesome. So what's in the future for Stephen? go more movies i hope there's more movies uh mad max is going well in the box office and they think it's going to go again tom hardy's actually signed for three more depending on how this one fury road how it w works out so hopefully i'll get back there and do the work as a motorcycle coordinator again mm -hmm. and some of the stunt work myself so i'm really keeping my fingers crossed there i'm also working with yamaha i'm a ride ambassador on a lot of their adventure bike rides mm -hmm do different things with Yamaha. So yeah, life's good. Can't yeah. complain. Still involved in the sport I love. Tom um, Hardy, good bloke. Tom Hardy's a good guy when you get him away from what he does. And, yeah. you know, of course, he's in front of a lot of people. So he's yeah. he's a bit standoffish to most people. But he was cool. Although, i got to say, Tom didn't ride a dirt bike that good. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd had to do a bit of teaching with him and Charlize Theron. And Charlize was actually a better rider than Tom. But Tom has never had that background. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even drive a manual car. Yeah, right. He's got an auto car, so he hasn't got the feel for the clutch too well. Yeah, right. But, you know, to each their own. Yep, yeah, totally. Yep. Well, there you go. You learn something every every time you speak to Stephen Gore. You always learn so much. Stephen Gore, thank very you much. so much for being back on Blokes Thank you very much. Yeah, it's awesome. always a pleasure to be here, and it's a, a credit to you guys to keep Blokes World going for so long. I know, 14 years. Can you believe it? It's, it's nearly like the footy show, mate. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Viewers, I can't tell you how much fun we're having today here at Triple Loos in Moorbank in Sydney. And right now, I've got a real special guest for you. Dave McKenna, welcome to Blokes World. Hey, mate. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Awesome. You put on a great show this morning. The kids were going crazy, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I've got that, the turbo out here today, got the stunt bike, and we uh, managed to get a little bit more room so I can open these things up and, and go nuts. Awesome. So, being a stunt rider, how did you get started in this? Did you, were you a road racer, a motocrosser? Yeah, I grew up um, in Ballarat on a farm, so Dad built me a motocross track, and one thing led to another. I was 13 and seen it, uh, a little segment in a Krusty Demon movie, and... I said, you know, that, that's what I'm going to do, and I never planned to do this, but you know, I thought I'd, I'd get into it and have a go. And 17, bought a road bike, and, and that was it. Mate, it's absolutely fantastic, and you're obviously hooked up with uh, Yamaha. Yeah, yeah, Yamaha has um, come on board, and you know, pretty much made my dream come true. I come back from China a few years ago, and um, you know, done, done it tough for a couple of years trying to, to make my break, and we got there, and. This is, um, yeah, living the dream now, loving it. Fantastic. And I understand you've got another show coming up this afternoon and we've got the girls from the uh, Sydney Sirens, the Ladies Gridiron League. You're going to take them in, part of your show? Yeah, they're going to um, throw a few uh, moves out there for me. So I said surprise me when I'm out there and we'll see what we can work with. Fantastic. <laughs> Now, we're looking at your two bikes here. I was wondering if we can take our viewers through the bikes and what you've done to them to make them trick bikes. Yeah. We'll start off with this one here. What have you done up there over the front end? Uh, front end on this is all stock except for the top triple clamp. Mm -hmm. And we've just made that uh, Extreme Creations in Brookvale here in Sydney. They make all my custom parts. And I said I needed a top triple that we could fit a steering dampener in it. Mm -hmm. So that's for when I'm up on the front wheel doing fast stoppies and just gets a bit of the head shake out. Yep. Um, just a carbon set of bars up front. And they, they make this tank for you as well, your bird bath? Yeah, yeah, we had that made. Um, another another friend of mine, a fabricator, made this. So that's for jumping on and sitting on and, and doing all the sorts of crazy stuff with. But it does its job. 
and behind us here, this is an absolute weapon, this thing. under the stable yep turbocharged mt09 so it's uh, it's got 207 horsepower to the wheel wow. um, stock is about 115 so it's fair jump yep um, probably weighs about 190 kilos uh, got a six inch extension on it got a, an extra 10 degree steering lock so you know hopefully i can cross it up without high siding <laughs> Um, and on both of these bikes, I've got um, an extra set of calipers too, so that runs up to my handbrake here. Yep. So when I'm standing up on the tank or you know on the seat and I can't reach the foot brake, yep. just one finger and I can can stop this thing from looping, hopefully. Oh, mate, it's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Besides from doing this sort of show, what other sort of shows do you do? Uh, I've sort of been all over. I've done, uh, I've done MotoGP, done BH Supercars. I do do a lot for Yamaha these days, a lot of dealerships. Um, we've got coming up, done the Supermoto Championships last weekend. Um, off to Mildura next week for the Hattar Desert Rally. Yeah, awesome. Um, you know, I've done royal shows, done, you know, do a lot of charity work. Just Anywhere, you know, anywhere there's a spot for me to ride, I'm out there. Oh, mate, that's fantastic. And if our viewers out there want to check some more of your clips and some stuff, have you got a website, a Facebook page? Yeah, probably best jump on Facebook. I'll put everything up there. You know, I've just put up a new video of this, actually, the other day, um, yeah, really letting this thing loose. So that's, uh, that's getting out there a fair bit. But, um, yeah, if anyone wants to get in touch, just through Facebook's best way, and, yeah, I'll be, I'll be there. Awesome. Dave McKenna, you're an absolute legend. Thanks for being on the show.
Good evening, viewers, and welcome back for another fantastic week of Blokes World. This week, we find ourselves in Moorbank in Sydney at the fantastic Triple Loose Garage Bike Shop for a fantastic festival day of the great sport of riding motorcycles. And right now, I've got the manager, owner, Justin. Welcome to Blokes World. Thanks, mate. Yeah, thanks for coming up. Awesome. We've got your young son here, Trooper. Hey, hello. Hey, Trooper. Oh, no, yeah, obviously yeah. not. Yeah, he yeah. was fine on Kids take one. Kids and animals, mate. Kids yeah. and animals. Excellent. <laughs> now, we're having a great time here today. You've, you've lined up a whole bunch of free rides for people yep. to take their bikes out for a yep. test. Yeah, look, the day's about uh, riding, so we, we haven't really worried about selling stuff. It's come and have a ride on a bike, come and have a look at a free stunt show. We've got stuff for the kids, we've got giveaways, seminars. Once again, I encourage you all to go home and immediately try this at home in front of your house. Now let's let's talk about the shop because one of the great things about your shop is that you actually can customise a bike for a, for a punter when yeah. they come in and buy a bike. Yeah, so the idea is, look, people like custom bikes, but it's hard to do these days. People don't have the time, so you can buy a new bike here, fully customised. We do, you know, um, paint packs from sort of eighteen hundred bucks to you know two and a half thousand bucks to a full custom paint kit with full fairing and stickers and wheels, exhaust, you know, uh, frame modifications. You buy that bike new with the warranty. Yeah, awesome. So. And you've also got everything from peewees to yep. scooters, yep. some beautiful cafe racing bikes yep. in there. Yeah, look, we work a lot with the cafe racer guys and the retro stuff. I've just been around bikes since I was four, and, and, and you know, from Vespers and Lambrettas to racing motocross to oh. cruisers, I like all of them, you know. So I just think the sport should get back to that, just, just having fun, a bunch of people riding together and, you know, all that sort of stuff. All right, let's cut into uh, what we call a fancy Camera 3 montage. Take it away, Camera 3. viewers we're having an absolutely fantastic time down here we're at Trooper Lou's having a massive open day and I bumped into an old China plate Matt Bromley welcome to the show hey, Doug, how are you mate really well now we haven't caught up for what about 12 years or about so that. yeah a bit about that yeah last time we met um, we were both working on the Krusty Demons tour that's correct yeah and you were working on all the bikes yeah yeah for all those buggers yeah excellent and you've now secured I think one of the greatest jobs in Australia you built all the bikes for Mad Max. Yeah, with a, with a good crew, a bunch of guys and cosmetic guys. Just, yeah, one of the best jobs in the world. Awesome. Now, how long did it take, the process of getting all these bikes together? Uh, it took about a year, year, two years. The film went into hiatus for a period of time. Yep. And then we uh, had to go to Africa. We were there for a year and filmed all that. And then came back and finished filming off. So about six years all yeah. up. Yep. Um, great bunch of crew, great, great bunch of guys and riders to work with. We had, you know... Robbie Marshall, Gawley, Cody Mackey, all those riders out there as well. So it's just like a big motocross team in Buddy Africa. That's amazing. And you were in Namibia, was it? Where yeah, was? in Namibia, then uh, down in Cape Town. Yeah, so. amazing. Mm. And for all the bikes that you built, I guess you would have had to build doubles, doubles for stunts. Yeah, there's a lot of doubles. This is a this is a double, or well, this one has a double. Mm -hmm. This is one that uh, Charlize was on, and then Tom was on. And yep. this one was in the sand. So it's a big sand dragger. Everything came to work. The guys had to jump bikes over trucks and run up and down dunes and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, it was good fun. Awesome. So where do the ideas come from? You, you basically just sit down and get a bit of paper out and try and come up with the most craziest idea? Oh, we had a production designer, Colin Gibson, and we'll let, let loose a bit on the bikes. The cars had, you know, a particular form they had to be. Let us loose a bit and um, there's some pretty messed up art guys who helped us out with that. So Excellent. And what's next on the card? Uh, I think another one might be getting made and maybe January next year. Yeah, really? We're not sure yet, so we're still doing a little bit of film work, event work and that kind of thing, but um, yeah, it's nice to have a break from this after six years. Ah, I can right. imagine, I can imagine. Yeah. And what was it like opening night going to see it on the big screen? Oh, it was great, mate. It was just finally set cut together. Um, it was a lot better than we expected. Um, yeah, it blew us away. Blew us away. The guys did a great job. It was just a rush, you know. Yeah. And, you know, particularly because everyone's you know, pretty much Australian on the film and um, Australian made, Australian crew, Australian riders, drivers. There was about 100 stunt guys doing 300 stunt roles. Yep. Pretty amazing. No one got badly hurt. Yep. But, uh, yeah, it was good. Well, there you go, viewers. There's a great insight. And, like, if our viewers out there want to get into a career like this, what was your background? Motorcycle mechanic or yeah, cutting? Yeah, motocross. I actually came from motocross. I used to work with Stephen Gall's team, then went through with Kawasaki and those different cool teams. Yep. But I think motocross, road race, and that kind of thing is where it's at. And you yep. learn your skill, and you can apply it later on. And if you're lucky enough to work with the calibre of riders, you know, it's, it's a good, fun career. Yeah, awesome. Matt Browning, thank you so much for being on Blokes World.
Well, welcome back to Blokes World. I hope you're enjoying tonight's episode. And we, look, we left Triple Loos. I'm here with Justin. Where have you taken us now? Hey, we're out at Nepean Flat Track. Uh, you've got the Jerkles riding here, Sunday Slide. We've got a couple of guys riding as well. Dave McKenna's going to be out on the uh, Mad Max bike. Another just big day out, and it's just what we do of a weekend. We no, round it's bikes. Fantastic. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. And it's great to see that uh, families that stay together, race together. You know, there's 100%. families everywhere here yeah, racing. Yeah, 100%. And it's, a, it's just more about the scene again and just what you do when you live and breathe bikes. Well, we can see Cambo's just getting his gear on. He's about to take out the uh, RM. Burn. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Wrong colour, but still good he's riding. A good, right coloured frame, though. Well, viewers, we're about to go check out the boys. We're about to hit the track. Uh, me and Justin, we got hangovers, so we're just going to sit here and <laughs> chill for a bit. We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. When I broke the chain that you had on me, I threw it down, then I walked away. How you my name? It echoed loudly. So those around, leaving no shame Right, our viewers, we're in the pits and we thought we'd come and meet the president of the Jerkles. Randy, welcome to the show, mate. Going? Good, thanks very much for having me here. Awesome. That's, well, actually, you're, I'm having you here, aren't I? Oh, mate, yeah, we're having uh, an absolute uh, great day. Now, yeah. you're the uh, president of the Jerkles. Yeah. Can you tell yeah. us, about, our viewers, a little bit about the Jerkles? Um, well, we were, we were a bunch of guys who were losing and so we didn't have anyone to hang out with because everyone else was fast. So we sat in a corner and um, basically found another guy who was really slow and said, do you want to ride with us because we're all slow and then we got another guy who was slow and, and then over time, you know, people just kind of turn around and go, oh, you don't have to go to dirt track and, you know, race and like go to win and go nuts. You can actually just go there and have fun. the greatest people in the pits and I just met a top bloke and a good old mate of Blokes World. Andy, we're going to back to Blokes World. Thanks, Ado. It's been, uh, been years, I think. Mate, years. You've been AWOL in uh, South East Asia, mate. Yeah, I have and I've... I've... <laughs> so let's talk about what you're up to because we, we obviously, if you don't know this man, he was the man from ADB magazine for many thousands of years. Now you're a Transmoto. Yeah, we started that five years ago. In fact, um, just put out the 50th issue. Excellent. Anniversary 50th issue, so... Excellent. Yeah, it's been good, mate. It's been a great journey. Um, really good to get into business with a bunch of mates and, you know... It's been a lot of fun, so it's kind of nice just to come out on a weekend where uh, we're off deadline and, um, you know, like I said, Andy invited me out and gave me a bit of a, gave me a loner and uh, an old thing. Yeah. And I had a ball, mate. It was good. Oh, mate, it's awesome. Just last week we went and raced in the uh, Queensland Vintage Motocross and had people like Donny Newell racing as well. And he <laughs> yeah. was out there 80-something 80, 80 plus yeah, no, riding we, motocross. We all get a bit old and sentimental as, as we age, don't we, hey? Mate, hey? dirt bikes, they keep you young, don't they? Yeah, absolutely, I know. Viewers, I'm here with a good old mate of ours, Dave Skelton. Welcome back to Blokes World. Hello, mate. How are you going? Yeah, really well. Now, you bought your, obviously, your, your, I guess you call this your workhorse? Yeah, well, this is my pride and joy. It's a CBR 954. 
they used to be my old trusty stunt bikes, you know. Yep. So I always had a dream of putting a single-sided swing arm on one of these. So Ben from Extreme Creations, uh, same guy who builds Dave McKenna's turbo bike and that. Um, yeah, he brought my dream alive and uh, we put the single-sided swing arm in and so a bit of engineering went into it, but yeah, it looks... Mate, it looks right? a good, mate, and you're still doing a lot of stunt riding? Because that's where we first met oh, a million years ago. Yeah, like um, serving it up Australia. Um, yeah, we still do it. Um, Dave McKenna's riding for us and uh, we've got a, a group of guys, there's probably about nine in the team all over Australia. Yep. So um, yeah, most, most events we get into. So sorry, mate. My fucking camera work. Fucking shocking. Well, let's go check out with the boys. They've just come in after doing some laps. Cambo, what did you think of your uh, your hot laps you were doing out there? Oh, it's great fun, mate. Yeah, it's good. The more laps you do, the faster you seem to go. But yeah, I ended up running out of fuel. That wasn't real good. But we'll go out again and have another go, eh? Mate, and over here we got some of the other faster blokes on the track. Dave McKenna, welcome back to Blokes World. Cheers, mate. Good to be here. On the dirt this weekend, eh? Yeah, first time. Never been on dirt track, so and I've got two crazy bikes, or one really crazy one. But yeah, yeah see how we go. I've been out there once. Awesome. So. Where'd you borrow that from, Mad Max? Yeah, well, that day, yeah, they built this one for Mad Max. It's FZ1, it's got 20 inch over stock and a little bit extra lock on it, so awesome. it's pretty, pretty wild. Oh, unreal. Speaking of Mad Max, here we got one of the uh, main characters from the film. You might have seen him. He was one of the guys driving one of the trucks. How you doing, Stuart? Good as gold. Mate, how's things been going for you? Yeah, having a ball, a bit of flat tracking. Yeah. Having a bit of a crack. Oh. Viewers, that's all we can fit in tonight's episode. But before we go, we want to say thank you to Justin oh, from no Triple worries. Oos. Real mate, pleasure. What a great day. Thank you, mate. Look, great day, a lot of work, but really worth it. You know, we're pretty passionate about the motorcycling and, and so are the people, and it's, it just brings it together. Great oh, fun. Mate. Great mate, fun. Everyone that came today had an absolute fantastic awesome. time. I mean, everyone left with a smile on their face. Yeah. There was something here for everyone yeah. dirt bikers, road bikers, yeah. people getting to take bikes for tests. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, we gave away, I think it was eight, eight jackets in total. There was a few helmets, uh, five or six watches were given away. Uh, look, it's just about having fun. Yeah. You know, I enjoy it. I enjoy seeing the people enjoy it, and it's just what it should be about. Mate, I'm devastated that Stephen Gall's uh, motard bike sold. Yeah, well, what do you do? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I had an excuse to ring the missus going, can I just get one more? Yeah, well, I can build you one. Oh, can you? <laughs> hey, Cam, was, what bike did you see this weekend that you'd like to take home? Look, I like that beautiful um, handcrafted um, Yamaha in the front that's a replica of Justin's first GT80 mini bike. That just took my eye, and the custom job they've done on it is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it is an absolutely beautiful bike, and we will be showcasing that bike next week because next week we're going to be back here at Triple Oods. We're going to be living in Liverpool, living large in Liverpool <laughs> next week on Blokes World. Once again, thank nah, you so look, much. Thank you, guys. Really made our day having out. I hope you enjoyed it. I want everyone to have fun and really, really appreciate your efforts, guys. Good job. Really oh, good mate, job. we had a great time. Had an awesome time. Yeah, awesome. Mate, you know what else I love, I love about your bike shop? Your staff. Your staff yeah, are very yeah, passionate yeah. about it and they want people to ride and have a good time. You can actually get finance at your shop. So yep. every bike that you see here, yep. it's actually got your weekly instalment price. Yeah. That, look, the whole thing with Yamaha is it's a whole package. So Yamaha Motor Finance and Yamaha in Motor Insurance all work together with the products and they've worked really closely with us to help people get on that bike they want without sending them broke in the meantime. Now, you're from uh, YMR, is that correct? Yes, correct. Yeah, yeah. Yamaha Motorcycle Insurance. That is awesome. Can you explain to our viewers a bit about YMI? Yeah, definitely. Um, YMI Insurance, so we cater for road and off-road bikes. Basically, we cover motorcycles in the event they were to be in an accident or to get stolen. Uh, full comprehensive insurance available on, on, on all the bikes. 
G'day viewers, welcome to Take 410. Anyway, right now I'd love to introduce you to Donnie from Lincoln International. Welcome back to the show. Hey, no, thanks for having me along. It's great to be here. Hey, awesome. Now you boys have got a few brands underneath your umbrella here at Link. Yeah, for sure. Ado, we do uh, Pirelli motorcycle tyres, we do Motor Oils, RK Chain, a whole bunch of stuff. Pretty much anything that wears out on your motorcycle, Lincoln International is the importer for Australia. Awesome.